Hi everyone, it's Casper from Skahoy. If you've been with us before, you'll know how passionate we are about giving you the best control experience for your live productions. If you're new, welcome to the realm of intuitive and advanced tactile control. Today's agenda is packed with some fantastic insights. We're going deep into the ATEM constellation, switches, introducing our flagship controllers, and then a fun hands-on demo. Skahoy works with a number of top brands in the broadcast and AV industry. We control cameras, switches, routers, audio devices, and many more. But actually, the Skahoy concept originated with ATEM. More than 10 years ago, I had the need to control a Blackmagic ATEM switcher, and I created a small hardware controller. Today, both companies is in a different place. Blackmagic is offering new generation of high-profile switches like ATEM Constellation, and Skahoy is offering controllers to complement even the most advanced workflows. Let's see how smooth we integrate, how easy it is to set up, and let's look closer at our default configurations for top ATEM series with our single and multi-panel scenarios. We'll get right into working with the master key one. That's our subject today, the Skahoy controller, top of the line for controlling switches like ATEM Constellation. I also brought a master key 48, but that's for later. So the first thing I want to do is to take you into the software. We call it Reactor. It's a panel management application, and it comes with every panel we make. It's baked inside. So this software is running straight out of the panel. No need for any computer in between. And you see, it has already recognized that it is, in fact, a master key one. And what we'll usually do is to pick a default configuration. We have procured these for you in advance so that you are easily started really quick with all the basics. So that's what we'll focus on today. But there's one piece missing. We miss the ATEM switcher. So basically on this side you have the panel or panels because we'll add another one later. Over here you have the devices. And we'll now add an ATEM switcher. So many devices can be discovered on the network by standard discovery methods. You see ATEM Constellation 2ME here. This is the one. We'll select this and it already figured out the IP. So all we need to do is to press the save button. I also want to just add another ATEM switcher because yes, in fact, it can connect to multiple ATEMs. Like if you have a backup or if for whatever reason you, you want the panel to have that flexibility without reloading a configuration. So I'll just add this one, which is a production studio 4K. And you can see we also have ATEM minis on the network. We could add those as well if we wanted to. But now we have two ATEMs set up with the master key one. And we are already in business. You see that I can select preview and program row sources on the master key one. That's really nice. So to verify all this, let's go to ATEM software control. So here we can basically follow the, the things we're doing. So we can select the sources. We can also use the T-bar to make a transition. We have cut, we have auto buttons down here. We have a fade to black button on the panel, right where you need them um, at your fingertips with tactile, high quality NKK buttons. NKK is a brand from Japan. They are like world known in the broadcast industry for making the best quality of these particular broadcast style buttons. Really, really nice quality. Now, um, I wanna take you through what else the master key one can do. And up here on the top, we have a little menu that allows you to change between uh, various things. One of the things we can do is to change the ME row because we are on a two ME ATEM constellation. So basically this four way button, it's, it's sensitive on the edges. I can go forth and back between my ME rows. I have only ME one and two. And if I wanna go to mix effect two, I just, change that in the software, I press the key, and you can see I'm now able to also operate ME2 with every function on the panel, essentially. We go back to ME1 again. I want to uh, introduce you to the buttons here. You see there are labels in the displays, classic Skahoy. We have dynamic labeling of everything. Do you see any fixed labels? If I turn this panel off, there would be nothing but buttons and displays. So when you turn it on, we use the displays to show you what a button does. And that's classic Skahoy and why we designed these panels in such a way. So we see this button is selecting the mix transition. We have dip transition over here, we have wipe here, we have DVE, we have stinger, etc. I can also cycle my still stores over here. We have stills we can cycle and um, that is a media player one and two. So to get over and look at that, I need to change in software control here. You can see media player one and two. Now, honestly, 
Cycling through the medias for media player one can be done on this button, but we actually have this function duplicated on a an encoder up here in the in the corner. So you can basically browse forth and back for your media player one up here. You have media player two next to where you can do exactly the same. You can also change transition rate for the currently selected transition, which is a stinger. Let's go back to mix, which is classic one second, but we could make it one second and 10 frames. We also see that we have the connected status at, at green. So yes, we are connected to the switcher. That's always good to know. So if we, um, yeah, so we can select the, the, um, the, the transitions here. I want to take you into the bus menu. If I go there, we have suddenly access to source delegation for auxiliary, downstream key or field, downstream key or key, upstream key or field, upstream key or key, and then the super source, uh, different boxes, box one, two, and three. Uh, and four on the superstore. So let's take a look at that real quick. So I go back, so you can see in the ASM software control, the outputs and the outputs is um, on a modern ASM constellation outputs is like your auxiliaries. So um, you have these, what is it like 12 outputs on this one. So we are currently on auxiliary output number one. So this would be the one we are looking at. So basically I am able to, um, let me see, I uh, selected it. So I have selected auxiliary one as my, no wait, actually I'm gonna do two. So I basically again use the four way button to go to which auxiliary it is that I wanna operate. So I, I'm on auxiliary two right now and you see input number one is selected in the software control. So I can now select input number six or input number 12. I can even use the shift key to select input number 15 if I want. So, and of course this is the same to delegate sources for everything else. Let's quickly try it for the downstream keys. So if we go here, you see fill and key source. Let's just select downstream key. This is downstream key one. We are uh, selecting input number two for the fill and downstream key um, one key source would be input number eight, like that. And it would go on like this even for uh, upstream keys and also for the super source over here where we have these boxes, one, two, three, that we can basically delegate. So let's uh, try box number four here. It is currently black, but now it is input eight. And it would continue like that. If we go back to the main functions, you have um, the next transition selects here. You, you can basically have upstream key one and two uh, in your next transition. And if you hold down shift, you also have uh, three and four. You can uh, select those there. We also have tying the downstream key by the same buttons. Over here, we can do transitions. And this is an auto transition. Actually, it's a unique feature we have built in. So what goes on behind the scene is that we enable the next transition button and then we make a transition and then we, we go back to the previous state. So this is something Skyhoy has augmented on top of the ATEM switcher. We have the same for two. We also have auto for the downstream key. That's actually built in. So that's just us executing a function. The final part of this video will be about the mega panel, which we have over there in the corner, and it does represent a way you can expand. In a mega panel, usually you start with a transition block, and then you have multiple of these master key 48 panels that will allow you to go from 12 to 24 to 36 to even 48 inputs if you wanted to. The cool thing is that a master key one can also be extended with an MK48, master key 48. You just place it close by, it actually snaps together magnetically, so they feel like one panel almost as you do this. So that's also how the mega panel works in theory. You can expand it horizontally, you can expand it vertically with as many ME rows as you want. We even have a slim version where you can have like three ME's in the same space of a two ME and it is like built into a table plate, very, very useful for uh, studios that you might want to build. So this is really exciting as well. But the concept of bringing all this functionality together is the same. And I'm going to show you how this works inside Reactor. So Reactor, as we have been using it so far, is using Master Key 1 ATEM Small, which is essentially just the panel itself. But we have one called Medium. And if I select the one called Medium, immediately it is telling me that it's missing a panel. And that would be the master key 48. So what I'll do now is to add a new panel and I'll discover panels on the network because I believe it is actually being found on the network here. It is right there. So I'll select it. And now you see the master key 48 is, let me just move this aside a little bit so you can actually see. And now the master key 48 is becoming a part of the master key one. All right, let's just try it out. Preview works, program works, 
across these two panels so easily. And you even see how the menus adjusted itself. So now we, we have, uh, with this configuration spanning two controllers, we have essentially the, the menu that before we had on the master key. One is in the upper left corner of the MK48. MK48 is like the nickname for the master key 48. And uh, we can now use the keys in the upper row to spread out functionality much more. But you see how easy it is to expand. It's just picking another configuration, adding another panel, and immediately these are interoperated by the configuration spanning two panels. And it's the same with the mega panel. This is how you scale in the Skyhoy ecosystem. As you can see, it is about much more than just buttons and screens. It's about creating an ecosystem that supports your production needs. Like you have just seen with the Master Key 1 and the Master Key 48 and how you can scale and grow with Skahoy. So I'll tell you, Skahoy is not just a company. We're actually pioneers in universal controllers. Whether you are into cameras or video switches or audio mixers or something unique, I'm sure that we have something for you. It's been a pleasure sharing all this with you. Stay tuned to our channel, connect with us on social media, or sign up for our newsletter for more insights, innovations, and yes, more of me. Until next time, keep innovating and stay passionate about what you do.